Hey everybody, welcome to Digital Media Essentials. Today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to get rid of text um, yeah, get rid of text on a poster and replace it with something of your own creation. So we're making a spoof movie poster. I've covered how to swap the faces in another tutorial so this one we're just focusing on on changing text. Alright so let's say I want to get rid of this at the top and also the title here. First thing I'm going to do, just I, I do this just to be safe, is duplicate the background. So I can right click on it, choose duplicate layer, and then I'm just going to hide this one. That way I have it just in case something goes wrong or if I want to go back and refer to it, but I'm going to pretty much leave that one untouched. Okay, so our duplicate layer, I have that selected. Then I'm going to go up here, I'm going to click and hold on this, choose the rectangular marquee tool, and now I'm just going to select all of this text and we'll see how it does. Okay, so I've got that selected and then I'm going to hit shift and delete on my keyboard. So shift, delete, and that brings up this thing, it's, this is called content aware filling. So everything that's inside the, the dotted lines it's going to delete and then replace with what it thinks should go there based on the surrounding pixels so it's going to try and fill in the colors uh, sometimes it does a pretty good job this this one will be tricky because it's so detailed especially this window here uh, I'll just hit OK and see what it does hey not bad I can deselect that I can zoom in here so it's a little bit weird, like you can see a definite line there. Um, we could probably just get the the blur tool here and well, none of the rest of it's blurry like that, but so yeah, if you wanted if you wanted to uh, go in and clean that up with the clone stamp tool afterwards use this thing and then you hold alt to set your source turns it into a little target thing so maybe my source is right here and then I can click up here and kind of just smooth in a little I just don't like where it has like a really definite line I think the rest of this we're not going to notice much and I'm not going to mess with her head there at least not yet can extend the so see as I'm clicking it the little uh, crosshairs shows up beneath so it tells you where it's getting the picture from and it's going to be a little bit weird right there but for our purposes it's going to be fine we're going to put text over it anyway so I don't think people will notice too much I don't know what's going on oh. hmm. okay so we'll call that good now let's zoom back out and now let's get rid of this one down here so go back to the marquee select tool and we're just going to select all this and then shift and delete okay so here we got a bunch of the text because it was looking down here and thinking well maybe they want that up there so in this case let's undo that and I might try and okay I'm gonna select deselect so we, and then let's zoom in here now I'm gonna try and just go around it a little more closely just to try and not get that movie poster text at the bottom. Okay, now shift delete. Hmm. Okay. We can work with that. Let's deselect this. So the rest of this is looking pretty good. A little bit weird here where his sleeve comes down, but again, we're going to put a new title there, so I think it'll be fine. So now, let's just select this part again and shift delete that. There, now we're fine. Very good. 
Okay, so our new text is going to go up here and down there, and this is a good reason to have that duplicate so we can refer to what it looked like, what colors it was, that kind of stuff. Um, Alright, we need to download and install some kind of a font that looks similar. These posters have a specific font and a look to them. So if we're going for that, the easiest thing to do is just, I did a Google search for Hobbit font, and it brought up a bunch of this stuff. So I'm going to go, uh, I'll use this 1001 fonts place. We'll see what they have for us. Okay, ring bear. This looks like what they use on the poster, so I'll just download that. I uh, don't think I need any of these ones. I'm wondering if this if this one up here is a different font. It might be the same thing. <laughs> anyway, let's go back here. Okay, so I've downloaded this. I can just click on that to unzip it go into the folder and then we're looking for this one that ends in TTF. So if I double click that it should open in my font installer. Choose install. And what problems do we have here? There, looks like it's fine. Okay. Now let's uh, go in our text tool. So I'm going to, I have this one turned off now, and I'm just looking at the background so I can kind of get it in the right position, the right size on the caps lock and I'm just going to type what's actually there but you guys can you know make whatever title you want so Hobbit like that now I want to change the font first of all so go to my character window if you don't have this then just go here window character so let's choose ring bearer go. This is looking a lot skinnier than it normally does. I wonder why that is. Then we want that bigger. So just try and get it to ma match the... so the height is matching. I don't know why it's so skinny. Now the color is definitely not matching, so let's click the color and we'll just go over here. I'll choose one of the brighter spots on it. Maybe right there. And let's just see if... No, that's the in-between. Now our O is way stretched out. I wonder if this is just a, a weird font that's not the same one they use. But it'll get us close enough. Um, maybe I don't want that O stretched out, so I'll just select the O and bring that back to 100. Yeah. Now, when they did it, you can tell some of the letters are different size. And like this H must be custom made somehow. So I'm not going to get into that. but. At least we have the right font. Um, also, they're using a uh, some style things going on here. So it looks like it's beveled and probably some kind of shadows in there. So if you go to your layer and right-click on it, no, double-click on it, you can probably get to it by right-clicking right too. Where is that? Hmm. Anyway, just 
just double click on it and then over here we can turn on bevel and emboss and if you actually go to the settings there this one is using a chisel hard something like that and looks like it's maybe got some contour or some texture is it using a stroke? No, I don't think so. Anyway, just I would just go through these and see which ones you think it's using. Probably not that. I don't think it has that either. Okay, so that's pretty close. Notice how it's also got a texture on there. So this is pretty common on movie posters to have a texture over the text, you know, unless it's just plain white or something. Often, often there's some kind of concrete or metal texture or something like that. So let's uh, let's do a search. Gold. Oops, I'm still in caps lock. Metal texture. Okay, so we're looking for one that's similar to to this. So it wouldn't be this kind of brushed. It's more more grungy looking, I guess. Okay, we'll see if this one works. So I'm just going to save as sure. And now let's uh, open this one in Photoshop. I'm just going to Command A to select all, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste it there. So you just want to make sure that it's covering all of the text that you're trying to change. Just cover the whole thing. And then I'm going to right click on this layer, create clipping mask. And now basically what that does, see how it changed it? And there's this little arrow pointing down. So that means that basically this text is making kind of a window that this is showing through. So obviously they used a slightly different texture than this, but that's kind of that's how you do the effect, so. And that's that's basically it. So we can slide, whoops. I still have the texture selected. Let's select both of those. Just drag them down in place. We can get rid of the the background. And then I'd go in and put put the rest of the stuff there, but that's basically how it's done.